Well, I am delighted to introduce our speaker today, since he's a great friend, colleague, and one of Hopkins' own. Henry Brim is the Harving Cushing Professor of Neurosurgery, Oncology, and Ophthalmology, and Director of Neurosurgery at Johns Hopkins. He is also the very embodiment of Johns Hopkins' mission of research, education, and clinical care. Throughout his long career at Hopkins, Dr. Brim has excelled in all three. Under his direction, Johns Hopkins has become one of the largest and highest volume brain tumor centers in the United States. As a researcher, he has published more than 360 scientific papers and abstracts and has developed new tools and techniques that have changed the field of neurosurgery. Dr. Brim was instrumental in building a research and clinical center widely credited with changing the outlook for brain tumor patients. A seasoned scientist as well as a neurosurgeon, he reinstituted Hopkins' Ontarian Neurosurgery Surgical Program at the Research Laboratories, originally founded by Hopkins' first neurosurgeon, Harvey Cushing, with a new focus on medical and surgical therapies for brain tumors. Dr. Prem has changed the surgical treatment of brain tumors by introducing new approaches for targeted therapy. His work in developing a polymer wafer for direct delivery of chemotherapy into the brains of patients with brain tumors led to the first FDA approval of a brain tumor treatment in 23 years. His contributions to image guidance systems have fundamentally changed neurosurgical techniques and resulted in the FDA approval of the first image guidance computer system for intraoperative localization of tumors. As a teacher and mentor, Dr. Brim has trained numerous researchers in brain research. His trainees currently lead 11 different brain tumor centers around the world. His inspiring teaching was recognized in 1996 when he received the Hopkins Professor's Award for Excellence in Teaching. As a clinician, Dr. Brim has earned the adoration of many of his patients. His kindness, respect, and empathy for them are legendary. He offers each who trust their lives and health to his hands more than technical expertise. He offers them human warmth, compassion, and importantly, he listens. He is one of the few surgeons to be elected to the National Academy of Sciences Institute of Medicine. Dr. Brim also recently received the Grass Foundation Award from the Society of Neurological Surgeons, the highest honor that society awards for leadership in neurosurgical research. He received his undergraduate degree from New York University, his medical degree from Harvard, and trained at neurosurgery at Columbia Presbyterian. His awards are numerous and impressive. In 1996, as I noted, he was elected to the Institute of Medicine. 2000, the Grass Award. 2001, he received the Founders Award of the Controlled Release Society. In 2004, he received the New York University Distinguished Alumni Award. In 2005, the co-recipient of the Society for Biomaterials Technology Innovation and Development Awards. And in 2010, he was elected a fellow of the Control Release Society and was awarded the 2010 Gary Lichtenstein Humanitarian Award given by the Voices Against Brain Cancer, uh, Brain Cancer Foundation. In closing, I want to share with you what the daughter of one of Dr. Brem's patients posted on her website. Her sincere eloquence, more than anything I could say, illustrates those fundamental qualities that make a great doctor. Quote, I got a chance to meet Dr. Brem a few months ago when he spent over an hour with the two of us answering whatever questions we had, explaining in remarkable, accessible, concise language all the details of the tumor, the surgery, and the reasons for it, and then just chatting, as you do with a friend. My mom and I left his office nearly in tears, stunned at the luck of finding such a doctor and such a person. When you find a doctor of such skill and expert experience, you don't always expect to find such amazing personal qualities. We are very lucky. This is a man who cares, who generally seems to see the person sitting before them and whose mission is to find a way to help her heal. It was so clear to me that this matters to him on a deep level and that he assesses every case as if it were his daughter, wife, or mother. We couldn't have asked for better. It is odd to feel peace as you contemplate brain surgery, but with Dr. Brem, we did. End of quote. 
To me, this is the very essence of Johns Hopkins Medicine. So please join me in welcoming Dr. Henry Grimm.